people charge in here as they please. So uncivilized. If I didn't know this was Tenshikaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Have you learned your lesson now? Oh no! What has she done to Kujosara? The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone. Not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, almighty Shogun. I know, I know. You can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me, with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. Ah, so you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She doesn't take us seriously at all! Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks in the grand revolution to realize eternity. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope for? In their tiny little lives? Almighty Shogun, do correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. That's ancient history. You certainly love to hold a grudge. The Tsaritsa's dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. These other mundane details you insist on mentioning? They're just necessary sacrifices. That you? Stop me? For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so foolhardy. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances very carefully. Charging into Tenshukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't the brightest move. Don't you think it's time you stopped digging? I'm not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. I challenge you to a duel before the throne. <sighs> Proceed. My, you're full of surprises today. So you've learned to make the law of the land work for you too, hmm. I'll admit that I never expected to be in a situation where the two of us were on equal footing. You are aware that the loser must die. Are you sure this is what you want? Traveler! <laughs> then I will deign to share this last dance with you. Till death do us part! <laughs> So strong, but but how? Nishnayan diplomat, you know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure... The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma... Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! You are the enemy of eternity. <sighs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive.
There will always be those who dare to break the lightning's glow. We meet again. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. <laughs> if so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt decree. Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hunt decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So, I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. That's right. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? Hmm, so be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me.